What happens when a company's founder becomes its biggest controversy? That's the question on everyone's lips in the wake of recent comments made by Lululemon's founder Chip Wilson. A man known for his outlandish statements, Wilson has once again stirred the pot, this time critiquing the company's diversity and inclusion efforts. He voiced a belief that a brand should not attempt to cater to everyone and should instead be clear about the customers it wants to attract. But he didn't stop there. Wilson also made derogatory comments about the faces in Lululemon's ads, causing a wave of backlash. In response to these comments, Lululemon distanced itself from Wilson, asserting its commitment to an inclusive and diverse environment. This controversy is just the beginning, and it's clear that the relationship between Lululemon and its founder is more fraught than ever. This isn't the first time Wilson has stirred the pot. In fact, Chip Wilson, the founder of Lululemon, has a track record of making outrageous and sometimes even offensive comments. Let's rewind the clock a bit and delve into the archives of his controversial past. There was this one instance when Wilson decided to dress up as a baby, along with his employees, as a bizarre attempt to deflect criticism about child labor. You heard it right, a grown man donning a baby costume to dodge serious allegations about child labor. Then, there were instances where Wilson made derogatory remarks about women's bodies. As the head of a brand that primarily caters to women, these comments were not only distasteful, but also deeply disrespectful to his customer base. The controversies eventually led him to step down as the chairman of the board of directors back in 2013. But it seems, despite his resignation, his propensity to stir up controversy didn't step down with him. Wilson's history of controversy continues to cast a shadow over the brand he created. But what does this mean for Lululemon and its reputation? As we delve into the potential impact of Wilson's comments, it's important to note that they could potentially tarnish the brand's image. Lululemon's core audience has always been about promoting health, wellness, and inclusivity. With Wilson's recent comments, there's a risk of alienating customers who stand for these values. The company's decision to distance itself from Wilson could be seen as a strategic move to safeguard its reputation. Notably, this isn't the first time they've had to distance themselves from their founder's controversial remarks. It's a clear indication that the company is willing to stand up for its values, even if it means going against its founder. However, this decision could also have consequences. There might be some who view this as an overreaction, potentially causing a rift within their customer base. It might even lead to a discussion about whether brands should be held responsible for the personal views of their founders. Whether it was right or wrong for Lululemon to distance itself from its founder is a matter of perspective. But one thing is clear, the company is committed to weathering the storm and maintaining its commitment to diversity and inclusion.